taking it in. We're putting our corners together. For the shed. For the shed, yeah. We're putting up some batter boards on all four of the corners so that we can kind of get it square with a, a mason line, contractor line, and get it all figured out. I need to go get uh, some screws. Poison Ivy was for sure, for sure. Yeah. Those short screws, they're just too short. Right. Like these one inchers. Then we got three inchers. We don't have like two. Two. <laughs> No, no, and these screws are going to be able to be reused. And these boards we can reuse as batter boards for another project. Like the greenhouse. Yeah. We'll just leave them intact.
not keeping that one. Catch that on film. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I like how you stuck your landing afterwards. I didn't even fall my ah! Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. All right, so I'm cleaning up the area while Brian is putting in the stakes for the uh, surveying, I don't know, the perimeter of the building. <laughs> I'm just cleaning up. Um, we're collecting rocks. We got a bit of a rock pile happening right there. Um, there's a lot of rocks around here. So we had an idea for the rocks. We'll show you that in the future, but there's plenty that we can build with the rocks and they're so beautiful. So yeah, I'm collecting them. So now that we've got the batter board set up, uh, I strung some, some mason line in between all the corners. And this is approximate. We still have to square it to find where the absolute center for the footings are gonna be. Uh, but that is pretty much where the footprint is going to be on this shed. So our idea is Maybe Aaron wants to talk about the idea because this layout's pretty much hers. I'm just kind of getting the, the footprint. Um, she'll come and talk about the idea of it for here in just a second. But this, these lines will help us to get the elevation of the, uh, of the whole platform because we're gonna be doing pier and beam um, with some footings. So this will be uh, 14 feet by 10 feet. Um, we're going to have an outdoor space that will be covered by the roof. And the idea of having like an outdoor workspace is really appealing to both of us. Um, just so when it's hot in the summer, we can be outside or if we're doing something messy and we would rather do it outside, this would be a rad spot to do it. So then when you come in here, we're going to have a door probably right here going into the space. And then as you walk into, well, about 10 feet in, we're gonna have another door probably about here into the workshop. Back through this side. In this space, this is going to be 
a kitchen so that we can process our produce and animals. We'll have nice like metal counters in here. Um, and then we'll have like nice big cutting boards. We can keep all of our canning stuff in here, like empty jars and like our pressure canner, big pots, that kind of thing. And then um, in the outdoor kitchen, we'll also be able to have our two burner stove so we can do pressure canning outside. Um, then when we come into here, this will be the wood shop. And then we're going to do big double doors in here somewhere. Probably more to the corner double doors. And then we have a longer wall space for shelving or whatever. Um, and yeah, we'll have all kinds of shelving in here um, and places that we can keep the tools. And obviously a really great workspace. Ideally, we will have this space ready to rock for winter. So we're going to move our butts because the sooner we get this done, the sooner we can finish the bus and the sooner we get all this stuff out of the bus. So the bus isn't a tool shed anymore. It's absolutely gorgeous here. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. It's still, it's so hard to just like think that this is we're not just here to camp for a little bit no we're not cleaning up a nice like a campground right yeah. now we get to stay here we get to stay here indefinitely it is like the land is so rich yeah like when you dig up underneath all those leaves and stuff yeah it is rich under there rich Super rich. Oh, I love this mulling stuff. This is gorgeous. Nice. Oh, you can't see that. So all around our property, there's this plant called mullen. I'm digging it up. Not all of it. Not the established stuff, but I've dug up some little ones and I'm planting them around our trees right by the by the bus. I think those are gonna look really beautiful. Um, I think we talked about this before, but supposedly they're a really nice medicinal plant and um, they've got a lot of great benefits. So it'll be nice to have a bunch kind of scattered around the property. I kind of have a feeling they're gonna pop up naturally, but I kind of want to put them where I want to put them, you know? Oh, you can't see that. Here's some that I've planted. <laughs> they're awesome. You excited? I am excited. First time with we the got a chainsaw. Boss. Yeah, look at that. We're gonna see if we can start it. Uh, we gotta let it warm up. It's uh, never cut down a tree before. It's going to here in a second. <laughs> it's time for you to boss the farm around.
Well, we're getting to work a lot later in the day than we had hoped. We had a lot of computer stuff to do and a lot of planning for the workshop. So that's what we've been doing. A little bit of analysis paralysis, I gotta admit. Um, there's just been so many decisions to make lately that we're tired from it. But we're also really excited. Um, just we have a little bit of pressure to get this stuff done before winter comes. So anyways, enough chit chat, I gotta get to work. this vixen wearing universe pants. <laughs> Rally. These smaller trees are going to make excellent little posts and stakes for the building project, uh, possibly also for the greenhouse. Um, for anything small that we need to build, like compost bins and stuff, these are a perfect size for that. They'll last a long time. They're made out of oak. We may uh, shuggy bond some of them uh, to help them uh, last even longer. So right now we're just getting them organized and getting the site cleared uh, so that we can start mapping out where the footings are going to be uh, and start digging those out. We won't get that uh, to that today, uh, but this should be pretty clean by tomorrow. warm. You're hot, girl. What you got going on? Okay, so... It's hot down here. Looks good. Alright, so we're thinking of a backup plan because we are probably not going to have this cistern ready by the time we run out of water. So, we have these. There is a, a spot we can fill water in the city. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill these up. And I just thought this morning, hey, what if we put our well pump into a bucket and we dump these into a bucket and then pull the water out of the bucket and pump it into the tank. And then Brian took that idea to the next level what if we made some fittings and attachments, I don't know, some kind of plumbing system off of the pump that's already in the bus, put a hose down into the bucket, 
dump these into the bucket and pull the water out of the bucket using the pump over there because then that hose could go to the bottom of the bucket and drain the bucket. So we already kind of figured out the fittings and stuff we need. Now I'm just cleaning up these. I'm going to put them in the vehicle so that we have them ready to go next time we're in the city. All right, so today we're continuing site preparation. Erin's got a tree down that she's limbing right now. <laughs> I didn't cut it down though. I, I just found it in the way, so I just <laughs> pulled it and it was already cut down. Uh, but I got the chainsaw. Um, I've got some big um, downed trees over here that I'm gonna uh, start trimming up into potentially firewood. Some of it looks a little rotted. Um, some of it looks like it might be pretty nice, like this one here for some small firewood. This one is already decomposing, so I might chop it up and put it in our decomposition pile. Uh, but that's a pretty good diameter right there. There's my hand as a comparison. Uh, so we'll get this chopped up. And uh, we are extending the shed side uh, because of how we want to do the layout on the inside instead of 40 feet. Uh, we're going to do 50 feet. So it's going to be a little bit bigger, but I think, uh, definitely necessary. So here's the edge over here where the fifth, where the 40 foot was originally, but we're going to have an outdoor covered space here. Um, so I moved the, uh, batter boards to over here and uh that, that way we just pull the strings off it to get our square um, and then that one over there is going to be moved right here where these trees are so i'm going to get rid of these down logs so that we can move that and then uh, continue cleaning off the area and then we could start uh, getting all the space squared up so that we can um, figure out where all of our uh, pier holes need to be so we could start digging those out and then we can get our level and figure out how long the tubes need to be for the concrete piers. Hi, well, we're making some really good traction. We're getting piles of leaves and all the wood like the down trees and stuff we're cleaning all that up um i'm taking wheelbarrows full of um leaves and stuff and putting them beside our compost so we can add that on top of our compost stuff as we bring it out like our humanure and just like kitchen compost um we're gonna separate them at some point but this is we just have one bin for right now we just need to get things moving um, and then I'm collecting uh, like wood and stuff to burn um, just to get all these sticks and stuff out of here. So we've had a fire going all day and that has been very productive. Brian's knocking some roots out right now. Let's see how he's doing. How you doing, babe? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm just trying to get these roots. Uh, oh my this, gosh. this was a little mini like one inch tree. The roots are super strong on these. There you go. You came at just the right time. <laughs> <laughs> now you look like a badass. Yeah, that was actually a fairly easy one. I just uh, cut this one out over here. First, I was hacking it with the axe a little bit, but the root ball. <laughs> look at that thing. <laughs> so this is the part that was sticking out of the tree yeah. or out of the ground right there and I hacked it with the ax a couple times and then realized that it was super, super thick. So I got the chainsaw and just cut it low so that it's below ground level. Good job. And so now uh, this big one here, I think I just cleared it out. That's gonna be massive under the ground. Oh my gosh, yeah. So uh, got some pretty moss on there. Yeah. Um, but I think for this one, I'm just gonna get the chainsaw and just go a flush cut at the ground level because that'll be below the floor joist and hopefully it doesn't land on where one of the piers go nice <laughs> something <Stumpenhausen. laughs> no i don't think it will because it looks 
Uh, eight feet is probably right about here, so yeah. it'll probably be between two piers. I think it'll be like, even like kind of right about here maybe. Yeah. See, we've got a lot of debris stuff to clean up from when they cleared this area of the property. They did a lot of clearing, which was nice and helpful for us, but uh, they left like big piles of stuff along the edges. And then like in this little forest area here. So we need to clean all this stuff up so it's not just like a rubble pile behind the shed or like what we're trying to, in the areas where we're trying to build the shed, we gotta get this stuff out of the way. There's just piles of stuff everywhere. Sun is starting to go down y'all and uh, we've made some some pretty good progress, I would say. What would Huge you say? Progress. Huge progress. Huge <sighs> We've got all the, the lines set up. We've got markers where each one of the piers are gonna go. Aaron's been doing a great job cleaning the area out and helping get this all squared up. So our corners are all square. Everything is where it needs to go. And uh, this is gonna be a pretty, pretty good sized building. Um, the roof will be like 16 feet, even though it's a 14 foot building and it'll have a little bit of a pitch to it. So we'll have to see what we end up doing for that. I think we're going to use some galvanized metal uh, for the rain catchment on there. Uh, everything's nice and square and measured off, which is nice. And now we're going to start gathering our tools and maybe digging some holes. I think we got a lot done. Yeah. Like a lot, a lot. Yeah, we did. You can. I think we got really a lot done. Like, I've just been doing this all day. Look at that. You got lobster claws. You got your own lobster claw. <laughs> I kind of gave up on burning every stick. So, well, <laughs> decompose. Yeah. I just didn't want our whole compost thing to be sticks, but it is. We'll go to culture. Find good rocks, throw them in the pile. Rock pile. There's a lot of really nice rocks. We're going to use these for projects for sure. We've got a few ideas, so. Stay tuned for that. You may as well use what you got. Why well, pay for it if you have it already? You just have to be kind of innovative. Hey, actually, we're paying for all that. <laughs> we, yeah, we are paying. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag buy land. <laughs> all right, next up, we are going to level the lines. So we just did a preliminary level and just eyeballing it and then stepping on the string and was stepping on the string and I was just uh, measuring uh, and we've determined that this side here so the northwest corner is the highest corner the northeast corner is the highest corner on the east side and then it kind of slopes down at a diagonal going towards the southeast so now I'm gonna uh, level the line so that the line is level in the plane all the way across, if that makes yeah. sense. Here, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's gonna be good compost. Ah, got that right. Got a bunch of rotten or decomposing trees. Decomposing. So screwing them down like that on the corner keeps this edge down like that. 
and then um, I'll be able to do the same on the other corners over there and find the level that way. Do you hear the woodpecker? woodpecker? That'll just keep it from wanting to fall if it so happened to try. Okay, now that all of the lines are level going across all four corners on each of the sides, I'm gonna record the measurements for each one of the spots where the piers are gonna go. Go across the front first. That one's 13. Um, that way we know how much tube is going to be above the ground and how much will be below the ground. Wheelbarrow. It's uh, getting dark out. It's almost past focus 30. <laughs> <laughs> Which means it's the perfect time to call her for the day. Yeah, thanks so much for hanging out and watching us uh, start building this homestead here. It's cool uh, finally getting to the stage where we're putting down lines to see where peers are gonna go. Making decisions. Yeah. Yeah, it feels really good to clean up around here too. It just feels really good to get your hands dirty and just have this experience. It feels so nice here. Yeah, the energy here is awesome. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you feel like it. And if yeah. you are subscribed, thank you so much. We really appreciate the support. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate you guys. Yeah.